Hi guys, for today's video I'm gonna teach you how you can scale, rotate, and move objects in Lumion. And there's more, I'm gonna teach you how you can duplicate your objects using the move button or the move command, as well as how you can move or incline the objects through a RAM or any inclined surfaces in Lumion through one specific button on your keyboard. And so what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Firstly, we need to add a object. If you don't have, please click the place button. And right here I have the wheelchair. I'll just place it on the top of my asphalt pavement. And then just click the select button. And then now please click the select to deselect all the selections. First we will talk about the scale button. Just click the scale button. Just click directly the object. Or if you are using a lower version of Lumion, you can click the round grip right here. And from here, as soon as we select the object, the scale bar pop out and you can just click and hold and drag to the direction where you want to be. Or you can directly input the value of the scale that you want by double clicking this scale bar and enter the value of the scale. And if you're done, just press enter. Or you can click this grip button or you can drag to the right for the larger scale and you can hold and drag to the left if you want the smaller if you want a smaller scale. And if you're done, just click the X button to deselect all the selections. That's it. Next we have here the rotate button or the rotate command in Lumion. Click the rotate button. Now select the object. And now as soon as we select the object, the orientation bars came out. You can just click and drag these bars and see what will happen. Or you can directly click the grip button right here and then click hold it and drag to the direction that you want or you can directly enter the value if you have a specific angle just double click the heading bar and then enter the value that you want if you're done just press enter and then click the deselect button to deselect all the selections and then you're done Next we have here the move command. Just click the move button, then select the object. Now notice as soon as we select the object, the three axes appears. And when we're getting near to one of those axes, the pointer change and the color of that axis highlighted. It means you can click the highlighted axis and you can move directly the object going up, going to the Z axis. Now you can also click and hold the grip button and you can move the object freely. And if you want to move it to its axis, no need to release the drawing. You can just hit that shift button on your keyboard plus the X axis or the Z axis. Notice that our object is buried in that asphalt. You can move it by clicking the object and press the letter F to conform to the landscape. Okay. The next one I'm going to teach you how you can duplicate your object using the move button. Just click the object and then press that up button on your keyboard and there you go you have a duplicate of the object that you have and if you want to copy the object along with its axis you can just press the shift button on your keyboard plus the axis that you want like for example the X axis or the Z axis And there you go, 
you have a duplicate of your object by only using the alt button on your keyboard next up i'm gonna teach you how you can incline this wheelchair through this ramp by only using a one specific button on your keyboard first we need to rotate the wheelchair to position it to the ramp and after that press the move button select the object once again and then place it on the ramp notice that our wheelchair is not inclined with the, uh, the same inclination with this ramp what you will do just click the object and then hold it and press the F key on your keyboard to conform to the landscape to conform to the inclination of that ramp and after that release and you can move the wheelchair freely through that ramp and that's it guys I hope you learned a lot on this very very short tutorial please hit that like button and please subscribe to our channel to help us grow each day thank you so much guys bye bye